Rag Ride riders started early this morning. Some already passed through Underwood at 5.30. And that's where KTV News Watch said, oh, that's where we have KTV Chief Photographer Scott Buer. Let's take a look at to see what he can see if he, any cyclists there. You see one right there. We also have KTV News Watch 7's Waverly Monroe and Council Bluffs where cyclists have been camping out. Waverly, what are you seeing? Yeah, Chin, look at all of these people behind me. Hey, riders, how are you doing? <laughs> They're all excited this morning. Several people are up right now. We're at this camp here right by um, Harris Casino. There are still some people that are sleeping, and that is okay because it is uh, like over 400 miles to ride. But one thing that um, riders are, you know, one thing that was noticeable this morning is all of the rain. It is still raining. It's been raining for about over an hour. Hello, woo, thank you guys. And um, one thing that riders will have to be work looking for this morning is those slick roads. You know, whenever there's a ton of rain, especially for cyclists, those roads can become slick. So that's something that they'll have to watch out for. But riders say that eh, it's not too bad. I'm used to running in the rain, biking in the rain, you know, I do a lot of outdoor activities. So, you know, this is just, uh, there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing. Right. I guess that just depends on who you're talking to, <laughs> on whoever's on which side of the weather there. But um, there will be emergency vehicles um, out along the route today and riders will be dry, will go to Atlantic. So that's about 60 miles. So just be safe out there, everyone. And we'll be out here as uh, the rest of the riders get going. Reporting live, Waverly Monroe, KETV News Watch 7.